Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit Estate, hard by the darkest dungeon in the lee of a low or mid-level quest this week. I'm not entirely certain, but one thing is sure. I've taken a look at our heroes and Sayal really, really, really needs treatment. Badly. That's a lot of negative traits right there. A lot of negative quirks. Ah, Dipsomania is probably and misses the spot are probably the most important ones to get rid of first. I mean, she's religious. She shouldn't overindulge in alcohol. You know, all things in moderation. Moderation in all things, except moderation itself. Now, what are we wanting to... Oh, you know what? So, it would be nice to go and do this low-level quest, mid-level quest. Who would we take in there? I'm thinking Chirella and Ludovic. And uh, Vindra, is she? Yep. Vindra in third place and Arella in the back. That's going to be a bit rougher. It's a level 3 quest. Let's see how... Okay, all skills... Okay... Would... That wouldn't be too useful. Mm. Okay, Miss Bash wouldn't get too much use. Okay, okay, this is this is theoretically doable. So Sister Vindra will increase that. And who else? Ah yes. Increase that. Now equipment wise okay, it's gonna be rough. They should just about make it. I think. Oh no, you're all. Ah. Oh, that was going to be. Uh, Annalise was going to get a skill improvement, wasn't she? If she made it back to town. And I can't remember which one it was. Was it. Battlefield Medicine? Or was it one of these two? Oh, blinding gas. That was it. Yes. There we go. And now with that amount of money, we really should just dive straight into the dungeon because it's going to be a rough one as it is. Okay. We're doing this mostly to get the dungeon some experience, okay? <laughs> right. It's a short ruins. It's a little... Okay. Okay. Torchlight goes down a bit slower this week because of a town event we got, which is very nice. I'll go to um, uh, it is for ruins. Three's a bit ambitious, but you never know. And we better take three of those as well because these three are all going to be craving the blood soon enough. And we'll also take two of these because they may be useful now in mid-level quests. Uh, do we take more for no? No. All right. Madness can't take many forms, but none so contemptible as man's belief in a mythology of his own making. A worldview buttressed by dogmatic desperation invariably leads to single-minded fanaticism and a need to do terrible things in the name of righteousness. This man is an animal, rabid, destructive, and incapable of nuanced understanding. He must be put down. My dear sir, it's rabid. There's no such word as rabid unless you're a Super Mario fan. And even then, it's not spelt that way. It's a rabid because it's rabies. Those who say rabid are those who have seen a word written and not heard it speak. Or spoken. Anyway. You are not alone in this place. The fanatic is on the prowl, 
and he smells your sickness. Yeah, that's not going to end well. We are not level three fanatic. We we just need to run away fast. Like I I think we should possibly run away as soon as we can. Really, we haven't even faced level one fanatic yet. Oh dear goodness! At any moment he could be upon us. Oh god, 100% of room battles. One of those room battles could be the fanatic. Oh joy. Yeah, this is going to be nasty. I might just have to abandon the quest really soon. So the Fanatic is a, uh, a mini-boss similar to the Shambler or the... Um, what's it? Collector. The difference being that he hunts parties who are afflicted with the Crimson Curse. And this party is pretty heavily afflicted, and we are barely capable of going on a level 3 quest, let alone taking on such a formidable foe. If we do face him, we may need to just flee for our very lives. Because we are not geared up for this. We haven't even come up against the... Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. The level 1 for that, yeah? Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be horrible. It's a fun encounter, don't get me wrong. Lots of nice, fun, interesting falls, things go on. Faint hope blossoms. Actually, I had a great idea for a mod inspired by the Fanatic. Which I'll explain if we get to Confidence encounter surges as the enemy crumbles. Well, let us pray that we do not. For as I said, we are in no way prepared to face him. Okay, three for one, three for two. Obliterated. Oh, success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Musketeer only. Well, if someone dies, we'll be on a silver musket ball, but they're giving me one for that blooming quest! Oh. Well, if we get a musketeer, they can... Okay, let's see. Extra accuracy against marked, extra critical against marked, so musketeer stuff. Extra debuff skill chance, extra move skill chance. What debuff skills does a musketeer get? Is it a smoke cloud? I think it's for smoke cloud. Uh... Move chance would be the double shot up front. Right. Extra healing skills, extra healing skills on camping, less stress. Oh, it just gets protection from them both. That's a nice little combo set. Hmm, nice little all rounder. And of course, Arella's the greedy one. She wants to interact with everything. Oh, please tell me. Yeah, because she, she died. She came back from a dead and she, Oh, we haven't locked in on yielding. Let's hope she makes it to the end of this run alive. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. And that the unyielding quirk is not replaced by anything else. <sighs> I'm not going to tell a lie here. I was almost expecting the fanatic to jump us. And I need to remember to use this. The light, the promise of safety. And that didn't hurt as much as I expected. So that's good. And that is 
minus 3% critical chance. That's bad. But it's still a 15% chance. Continually onslaught. So that's good enough for me. Them all. Okay, we have a lot of stress coming in now over the next few rounds if he remains guarded. Diminished. So we're going to be working on stress reduction for a little tiny while. And here's hoping that that mark on him will allow arrows to him to actually go to him and treat as a marked target. Okay, yeah, he's in a bad way. Okay, that's not too shabby. But he is still very vulnerable to damage. Oh, thank goodness. Here we go. Yep. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Okay. We now have a legitimate excuse to fall back. Very legitimate excuse. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Oh, dear goodness. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Don't you dare. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Live! Oh, how bad is it? Is he getting less healing? No, off! Goodness sake. Teetering on the brink, facing All right. the abyss. It's not death by initiative. He lives again. Cut up. If only to bleed again. Whoop. Ah, resist it. Nope. Oh, didn't resist the stun. Lovely. Yeah, I didn't boost it up, but I didn't really have the time. Oh, nice. And while it's very tempting to just remain at this point... Oh, that's not good. We have the Fnatic on our heels, and he's lurking somewhere here in the tunnels always. We may just want to fall back and... Because we got an entire trinket set there. Shouldn't have done that. Because... Oh, nice. Stress removal as well. Because we're going to do this and mark him again. Then we could have done that. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. <sighs> right, because we've had someone go to death's door, we can bugger off. Too curious, though. All right. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. All right, dungeon. I think I get the message. We're just gonna greedily search these. Oh, that's just not right. Okay. And then we're just going to abandon quest and leave. I mean, it could be bad, it could be very bad. Great adversity has a beauty. It is the fire that tempers. There's two main things to keep in mind here. Thing number one, we get to take that complete musketeer set back to town. Thing number two, I really hope that Arella gets to keep her unyielding quirk. And none of hers changed. Okay, slow draw is Wands Explorer replaced Steady. Wow, okay.
Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. So, do we get a musketeer? Thankfully we do not, but when we do we will snap her up. I'm just going to press that button. Oh, double dice. Um, where is he? Ah, oh, treble dice? Yeah, okay, we're, we're selling some of these right now. Alright. Well, back in you go, my fine fellow. Get that removed as well. Right. Where to next time? Huh, another low blood run. Uh, you know what? Warrens might be getting that push. Yeah, let's see. Uh, busts and busts. That's a uh, combat plague doctor. That is a a very nice book. A very nice book indeed. You look. If they weren't ready for a short ruins level three run, they are not ready for this. Okay. Epic veteran. Yeah, not ready. Uh, so probably that one, to be honest. Okay, well, sorry it's been a short episode. I'll end it here. I'll start up my next one. And see you all next time. Cheerio.